animal enthusiast Caleb McElray. Caleb is currently studying a Bachelor of Wildlife Science in Gatton. Now, I've known Caleb for quite a long time and I remember when you were running around everywhere you go, you would be wearing a tiger tail yeah. or a kangaroo tail, all sorts of animal tails. Tell yeah. us about the tails that you had. I had a beaver tail, not literally, but you know, sewn up. My mum would make these tails for me. Um, I had a tail that would double as a lemur and raccoon tail. Um, it was black and white. Also growing up, um, we had dogs, uh, so occasionally they would predate the garden birds, um, i.e. try to eat them. Um, we would do our best to save them, usually succeeding. Uh, so occasionally, in that case, we'd have sort of injured birds or whatever, um, otherwise people might bring them to us, that sort of thing, and we would uh, nurse them back to health, so I guess in that way, I was taught to take care of the nature around me, I guess. Right, tell us a little bit about your degree and what you're studying at the moment. Okay, so um, I'm studying wildlife science uh, at UQ, um, and basically that looks like, uh, that looks at ecology and like the gritty science and biology, so plant sciences and, uh, and um, cellular biology and uh, conservation stuff and game management, um, just general facts about uh, Australian wildlife um, and what it's like and um, why it is the way that it is in the landscape um, and how to manage and conserve it um, by understanding it basically is what the whole degree and where are you hoping that will take you in the future? Um, well, I want and wanted to do uh, wildlife filmmaking. So, um, basically, you know, there's no wildlife filmmaking degree that I know of. So I did a bit of a make your own degree thing in my head and I went to the thing I knew the least in, which was the actual science side of wildlife. Um, I knew a bit about filmmaking, but didn't know as much in science. So I was like, okay. That's where I'll uh, improve first, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I want to go into wildlife filmmaking. So you want to be the next David Attenborough? That'd be, that'd be great. The Lumholtz tree kangaroo is essentially just the macropod that thought to look up. Or, more to the point, they thought to utilise vertical living. They considered the Australian dream of home ownership horrific and fundamentally disgusting, saying it perpetuates urban sprawl and regularly campaigned the idea that storied apartment living is much more spatially economic. So, tell us about some of the places that you've been looking for wildlife. Um, I've been to all states of Australia except for Western Australia, looking for wildlife mostly with family. Um, so, I've travelled up to Cairns and inland to Carnarvon Gorge and Queensland, stuff like that, and um, Tasmania and Victoria, and uh, done a lot in New South Wales around Sydney. And in all of those travels, what is the coolest animal that you've seen? Uh, ooh, probably the platypus. For the platypus, we saw one up in up in the Atherton Tableland in Cairns, and we've seen them in Tassie. And yeah. what other animals did you see? Um, well. A lot. Eastern quoll, um, the wombat, common wombat, uh, rock wallabies as a as a family. Um, I sort of collect rock wallaby sightings, like hearings. Like I'll go, there's there's like 18 or something different species of rock wallabies. So and they're all distributed around Australia. Um, so if you go to a new place and there's a new species of rock wallaby there, that's what I try to see. Is there anything else you'd like to add about uh, how to follow my passion for animals? Read field guides on the way to school. That's what I did. Um, and now I can pick a bird from 50 metres away, sort of thing. Okay, now we're going to celebrate learning with a dance.